All right, so just to recap everything that we just talked about with consumer surplus before we move into producer surplus. Um, consumer surplus can be represented as the difference between willingness to pay and price. And you'll see this for individual items bought as the area between the demand curve and the price paid. So if you have continuous demand, a demand curve that looks like this, the, the one we we're looking at now, okay, if we have a demand curve like this, okay, there will be an infinite number, infinite number of uh, consumers in here. So for an individual consumer surplus, you could be this plus this plus this. If these are the, the actual items bought, right, each one would be an individual's consumer surplus. But because it's continuous demand, where the whole demand curve represents items bought, um, even if they're fractional items, the, uh, the area under the demand curve, but above price, is your consumer surplus. Okay. So the whole A plus B plus C is your consumer surplus in this case. Okay. So the, the distinction of, of this one versus the Neil, Danny, and uh, Keith example, or whatever the four names were, uh, Mike, Neil, Danny, and Keith, um, the distinction is that there were only four consumers buying only four units, right? Here we're going to have one consumer here, one consumer here, one consumer here, one consumer here, consumer here, consumer here, here, and here, and here. Um, buying fractional units, and each fractional unit has its own uh, individual consumer surplus, and if you add them all up, you'll get the, the full area under the curve. I'm sorry to skip ahead. Um, okay, and then the last point, so it's willing to, ah, come on. Consumer surplus is willingness to pay minus your equilibrium price paid, okay, um, and that's for individuals. And then when there's many of them, it's going to be the area, area between the demand curve and the price. So it's just the same thing, but where willingness to pay for every consumer is mapped on the onto the demand curve. And we saw that when we built uh, both the Joe, Jack, and John hot dog willingness to pay to demand. And when we bought, when we built from Neil, Danny, Mike, and Keith's willingness to pay is their demand curve. Okay.